Welcome to a short session on MLlib, the machine learning library of Spark. Let us first understand what does it mean by machine learning. Machine learning essentially is programming computers to optimize the performance using example data or past experience. In the words of Arthur Samuel, machine learning is the field of study that gives computers the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. Let us understand the meaning of machine learning by the way of an example. Have you played Mario before? I'm sure most of you must have. How much time did it take for you to learn the Mario and win the princess? Couple of months? Did anyone teach you? No, right? Can you believe that a computer can also learn and play Mario by itself like you without any knowledge of physical world? Let us take a look at this automation. In this setup, the bot will automatically learn and play Mario to maximize its score. Here, the game Super Mario Brothers is being run inside a virtual machine or we call it emulator. And a computer program or you can call it a bot is hooked to this emulator. The computer program is observing the memory of emulator and pressing keys. So, this bot is observing the screen and pressing those six keys to maximize the score. The bot also is observing the location in the memory where the score is capped. The single aim is to maximize the score. Let us take a look at the day one. On day one, it is just pressing the keys randomly, just jumping, going nowhere. And here, Mario dies of old age. After few days of learning, it is doing a little better. Looks more like a toddler. It is able to look few frames in the future. But for some reason, it is walking backwards. After a few more weeks of learning, it seems to have no problem at all in playing the Mario. It is now able to cross the bigger hurdles. After few more weeks of learning, it is an expert now at Mario. It is even better than most of the players. You are able to see how it exploits a bug in the Mario game. What was that? A Goomba jumped on Mario and it is still got the point. It figured out automatically that the moment Goomba is about to touch its top, it starts moving downwards quickly and the game makes mistake in detecting the collision. The program was able to discover such bugs or mistakes in the game which we could never discover. You are about to see the program exploiting another bug. What was that? It is about to fall but it saves itself. No idea how did he do that. Next, the program was made to play other games and for some games such as Tetris, it could not do much. But you will observe another sign of intelligence. Here, when it is about to lose the game, it pauses the game. It realizes that pausing is the best way to retain the score. It is like in childhood, if we could not win the next move, we would spoil the whole game and run away. So the program learned to play Mario and other games without any need of explicit programming. 
Of course, there was programming required to interact with the emulator, but not in actually writing rules on how to play the individual game. Question to you is, if we have to make this program learn any other games, such as Pac-Man, what will we have to do? Will we have to write new rules for each game? Or will we just need to hook this to new game and let it play for a while? The answer is 2. We just need to hook this to a new game and let it play for a while. Now, this definition of machine learning would make sense to you. So, machine learning is basically the branch of artificial intelligence used for design and development of algorithms so that the computers can evolve their behavior based on empirical data.